you know, coming home and taking her in for something that you think is nothing and then hearing the actual words, you know, I looked at it under the microscope and it is cancer. You're never fully prepared for that no matter how much mentally you, you, you would try to go there. I was out at recess playing soccer and uh, I was going for the ball and so was another kid and he missed the ball and kicked me in the leg. As I recall, her pediatrician didn't really think initially there was anything to it. Um, she just said, well, we'll take x-rays just to be sure that it's nothing and sent us on our way. So we were felt pretty confident that there was nothing more to it than that until we got a phone call later that evening. The pediatrician um, said that it could either be one or two forms of cancer or an aggressive bony lesion. Um, she immediately got us in touch with Dr. Beerman at uh, U of M Ann Arbor to uh, do a biopsy. And that was when they came out and told us that she had cancer. Dr. Beerman explained to us that osteosarcoma is a, a tumor within the bone and it's um, not something that you could remove out of the bone. The bone itself had to be removed. Um, she told us it was a, a very uh, aggressive form of cancer, uh, that it grows over the period of, of days and weeks, not weeks and months. I mean, there was, at that time, there was potential she was going to lose her leg, there was potential she was going to die, there was, there was a lot of, lot of potentials there. The protocol for her condition was to um, start her on chemo as soon as possible. We kept doing different hairstyles when it was falling out. Even my friends tried to shave their heads for me. It made me feel like I wasn't going through this alone. She went through, uh, I think it was eight rounds of chemo, and then they did the surgery on her leg. Which basically entailed removing a, a foreign section of Bryn's tibia. Uh, replacing it with a, a donor bone and then kind of fastening everything together with uh, titanium plates and screws. Since I was in bed for such a long time uh, that I had to get physical therapy to help me relearn how to walk. Now her leg is as strong as her other one. You know there's no doubt that Bryn might not be with us today had she not been kicked in the leg. That's why we took her to U of M because we knew if you know, she was going to survive this, that that was uh, where she was going to have the best shot at it. Swimming's always been a big part of me. I think that I'm a little bit more into it now since that was the first sport that I could go back to. you just been through so much and then you just, it's just good to have your life back. I can still be a kid.